Good morning, thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, it's a little different scenario. I'm currently in Big Bear, so I'm pre-recording this for uh, Tuesday morning because we're gonna be hitting the road, so I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to uh, get all this together and, and uh, post it on time. So uh, let's get into the Word of God, though. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20. We're gonna continue our series on the Ten Commandments, and today we're going to look at the Fifth Commandment, and that is found in verse number 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. You know, uh, I, uh, as I studied this verse and, and really uh, meditated on this verse here, it says that they, thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord uh, where is it? Uh, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Now, of course, to the nation of Israel, that's the promised land. And so this isn't just talking about if you honor your father and your mother, you are going to have a long life, you know, on an individual basis. But this is not just, and, and, and it is, you know, I, I believe part of that is, is uh, the messaging behind this verse. But a big part of it is also related to the overall culture of the people. Because once the honor for parents is gone, it is a telltale sign of the breakdown of that society, and uh, and eventually, they will lose their they, they will lose their land. Uh, you know, th I think this is exactly why God says that thy days thy days may be long. He could have just ended it right there. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long. But it says that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. A healthy society is a society that honors their parents and their elders before them. Let me read you a couple quotes here uh, from the same person, by the way. Uh, it says, what is happening to our young people? They disrespect their elders, they disobey their parents, they ignore the law, they riot in the streets, inflamed with wild notions, their morals are decaying, what is to become of them? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a second, maybe try to guess who said these words, okay? And here's another one, again, same person. The young people of today, Think of nothing but themselves. They have no reverence for parents or old age. They are impatient of all restraint. They talk as if they alone knew everything. And what passes for wisdom with us is foolishness with them. Take a guess who said that yet? You think it was uh, uh, maybe uh, Thomas Sowell or uh, you know Martin Luther King Jr. or something? No, that was Socrates from over a thousand years ago. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, this whole notion of disrespecting parents, and I mean, it's, it is part of ancient history. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tale as, as old as time. When society begins to, to uh, decay and begin to fall apart and, and basically begin to leave its golden age into destruction, one of the biggest signs is that the young people start disrespecting their parents. And so God is trying to warn the children of Israel, honor thy father and thy mother. Do you want your nation to last? Do you want your people to last a long time upon the land that I've given you? Then you must keep that culture of respect toward your parents. And so here in America, you can see as our society is breaking down, what is happening with our young people? It's exactly what, what Socrates said, uh, you know, many, many, many years ago. It's, we're following the same cycle. As our society is breaking down, our culture is breaking down, uh, you see this, this huge disrespect against their elders. And, and, and you know, I, I, I can't stand this, this uh, little saying they like to say, you know, okay, boomer. I think that is such a disrespectful thing to say towards the, you know, the, the, the previous generation. Um, and and I, I hope no Christian uh, ever allows that to come out of their mouths. As Christians, you know, especially if we love our country, then we must be the leaders in honoring our fathers and our mothers and, and, and respecting and, and our elders uh, so that we can continue to enjoy this land that God has given us. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning, bye-bye.